when I see the partial pressure of oxygen in the arterial blood it is 95 millimeters of mercury in the venous blood the partial pressure of oxygen is 40 millimeters of mercury so when the so this is the arterial blood this is the venous blood when the partial pressure of oxygen is 95 19 ml percent of, of oxygen is present what does that mean for every 100 ml of blood there is 19 ml of oxygen is being conveyed to the tissues but when the partial pressure of oxygen is 40 there is only 14 ml percent of oxygen that means when when this blood has come to the tissues we know at tissues the partial pressure of oxygen is 40 millimeters of mercury so you can see there is exchange of gases oxygen is delivered now in the venous blood you see only 14 ml at this partial pressure of oxygen for every 100 ml of blood contains only 14 ml of oxygen so a difference between these two is 5 ml percent that means for every 100 ml of blood 5 ml of blood 5 ml of oxygen for every 100 ml of blood which is coming to the tissues 5 ml of oxygen is delivered to the tissues in the arterial blood when the partial pressure of oxygen is 95 millimeters of mercury for every 100 ml of blood there is 19 ml of blood which is coming towards the tissues now after exchange of gases when the blood is leaving the tissues the venous blood the partial pressure of oxygen is at 40 under that partial pressure of oxygen there is only 14 ml of oxygen present in every 100 ml of blood the difference between the two is 5 ml that means for every 100 ml of blood that is coming to the tissues 5 ml of oxygen is delivered to the tissues when i take the partial pressure of carbon x in the arterial and venous blood the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is around 40 millimeters of mercury whereas the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is the venous blood it is around 46 millimeters of mercury i am speaking about the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the arterial and venous blood the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the arterial blood from lungs to tissues in that blood the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 40 millimeters of mercury so under this partial pressure of carbon dioxide the amount of carbon dioxide present for every 100 ml of blood there is 48 ml of carbon dioxide now when such blood is coming towards the tissues you know in tissues there is exchange of gases so more carbon dioxide is added oxygen is taken carbon dioxide added now after the exchange of gases is over we see the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the venous blood is it is 46 millimeters of mercury so under this partial pressure of carbon dioxide you can see there is 52 ml of carbon dioxide for every 100 ml of blood now difference between the two is there is 4 ml percent that means for every 100 ml of blood that is coming to the tissues 4 ml of carbon dioxide is added to the tissues so you can see the difference of 4 ml that 4 ml is delivered at the area of lungs it is exhaled out